And now it's time for our tale of the tape. Rocky Marciano, the Brockton Brawler. This heavyweight is anything but standing only five foot ten inches tall. One of the greatest heavyweights. To he is Rocky Mar. The Bronze Bomber. One of the hardest punch. Expectations are sky high. Here we go for round one. He carries away the left uppercut. I know boxing fans around the world feel like Christmas morning with these two finally in the ring. Situations like this target will either make or break a fighter because the expectations from the fans of the people here, of the millions of people around the world, people like you and I sat here expecting everything and anything can break a man or make a man. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. This is not good strategy. Those punches are doing nothing. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. Nice exchange here from both men. Defending himself. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Despite what the judge the four cards read, there are no losers in this one. Good counter left hand there. Dominance without a doubt make look. Here we go. Round two. Who's gonna land the first big shot? Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. The exchange punches. You're not going to see a lot of finesse and skills from this guy. He wants to bury his forehead into your chest and pound away. You are fighting the swarm, man. Be smart. Be sharp. Concentrate what you've got to be confident. Do not dance his daddy. Because that swarm, once you do that, you give him a chance that shouldn't have you. He fails to score with that left. This is not the way he wanted this fight to start. Let's see if he can get out of trouble. And it appears they weathered the storm. How? I'm not sure. <laughs> nice exchanges from both men in this round. He didn't take that jab well at all. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. He misses with that jab. He threw the hook, didn't land. Misses with that jam. Good power punching for both these fighters. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. And around that seemed like eternity for them. Here we go in round three. Who's gonna land the first big shot? 
Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet, not until your sense of the comeback. told us yesterday, if he doesn't win by knockout, he doesn't consider it a real victory. That's the mentality he has. Sluggers are an absolute nightmare. They will stay in your face, not give you a breather, not step back when you think, all right, let's have a breather. They want to get stuck right in. He blocks the uppercut. These two are the perfect dance partners. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Totally impressed. You know what? You got skill. You got... Oh, my goodness. I admire these guys. Left counter scores. Good punch. Beautiful counter punch. Both men step back for just a moment. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Well, there was no doubt about who won that round. Somebody don't get complacent. You think this is too easy. If you keep the same kind of pace up, they've got this fight. Back at it, round four. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. to neutralize that link. Very smart, very... Looks like we're gonna see an early night here. He is locked. As he weathered the storm. He somehow weathered the storm. He prevents that left uppercut from scoring. is going to say I can't take it anymore. A perfect counter shot. A nice exchanges from both men in this round. He left his chin exposed and he got caught. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. We're not going to see as much footwork as the smaller weight class is in the heavyweight division, but we don't care. We want the heavy fist. Because that's so big, because they can push, because they've got the weight behind them, they may not be connecting, but just be ready to connect. That's when this fight sets on fire. Because someone's going to get hurt, someone's going to react. Rocky Marciano covering up, trying to buy some time to get out of Trump. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Well, we're entering desperation mode here. Going to need a knockout. You know, I've been in class right now. Then you think you come up by a ring away. You walk back to the corner like you've just seen the sun. Who's going to land the first big shot? Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Now he knows he's being hurt. He's going to come up and put the pressure on. He's going to throw the kitchen sink at you. You've got to be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off. Be smart because he's going to try and put you under pressure. 
He knows your legs are done. He knows your head's not clear. Be sharp. That one lands. And he just misses with that jab. Coming back to life now, starting to land some punches. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. When we talk about a fighter having power, don't just look at the head punches they throw. Look at the body shots. That can be the real difference. That power, that power might be the do or die. That power might be the, the, the equalizer. This could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, someone can take you out with a simple jab, it can be intimidating. Just depends on how confident you are as a fighter. He's going to keep his elbows tucked into the chest so he can avoid the pain of those body shots, but that leaves more opportunities for head shots. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. I promise you, all three judges here are going to give that round to you know who. And there's the bell for round six. Coming off that fantastic last round, let's see if he can keep his momentum going. And that hook misses. How much confidence do you build when your opponents hit you with their best shot and you walk right through? Don't get trigger happy. Because all of a sudden you're going to be gassing yourself out trying to get that shot. And that's when they catch you. Missed him with that uppercut. Big whiff with the right hook. Big shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful, though. He carries away that left hook. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now, this fight will say, you know what? I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them. More than happy. Great counter right hand there. When you've got someone with the hand speed that this fighter possesses, how do you deal with it? When you've got a fast fighter, they will cut you to ribbons, and they know it's a matter of time before either you get desperate or the referee jumps in and saves you. This is a natural gift. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Well, sometimes it can be the sweetest sound. Here we go, it's round seven. So the fight will continue. How do they turn things around? They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot, jab. Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then put the pressure on. exchange here from both men he missed with that jab there's no doubt that this fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant you can't afford to make one single minor mistake 
You've got to be courageous when you get in there with someone that's bigger, stronger, and faster. You've just got to use brains. Can they figure out the combination to this safe? He can't score with that uppercut. Tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Tough round. Let's see what they do here. This fighter is sort of the death by a thousand paper cuts approach. He'll hit you a thousand times before you can land one. Some fighters are just gifted. Gifted with hand speed, footwork, movement. They are gifted. They are the chosen few. He blocks the hook. That left counter was perfectly timed. And he misses with that jab. These two are the perfect dance partners. You've seen all the famous boxing movies, the training scenes, the gym work. That's what it all boils down to. Who's going to have more endurance? What can they change? Can they slow the pace down? Can they hope to, to, to knock them out early? What can they do? They've got to concentrate and relax. Because you know what you can do in the gym. You can do it in the fight. They've got to relax. Oh, wow. They just got clipped. And, he's, and down goes Deontay. survive the round here, but just barely. So it's plan B time after being knocked down in that way. If you're being put down, you've got to think right, survive, and then give it by the next round. And there's the bell start round nine. He got knocked down in the last round. Let's see what he can do here. Oh, listen to me. If I knock somebody down like that, that round, you know this round coming up? He's getting everything, everything, full power because I know his legs are gone. So this, you watch what's going to happen. If he doesn't, I'll be very, very surprised. It's obvious this fighter is gassed out. Why sit in there and throw punches? He's going to keep his elbows tucked into the chest so he can avoid the pain of those body shots. But come on, that leaves more opportunities for head shots. We both know who the bigger power puncher is. There's a significant power difference. How would you handle that? Todd, we know one of these fighters can knock you out with a simple jab. They're that powerful. Back and forth they go. Neither fighter willing to back down. Nice job landing that left counter punch. So much firepower here. Punch, counter punch. He got out of the way of that right hook. They're 
both going for the KO. It's so obvious. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. It has been all one-way traffic. How do they turn this around? There's a big difference between being the aggressor and the effective aggressor. Which type are we seeing so far? How do you deal with an aggressive fighter? What you do is you fight, fight, and fight. You either give it them back because that's where they're comfortable, or you play calm, play cool. And he misses with the left uppercut. Lands with the right counter. Both men step back for just a moment. This fighter's certainly not going to outthrow their opponent by any means, but they will, when they hit, be a lot harder. Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, you don't think them. You just gotta be smarter than them. You've got to be like a little favorite and pickpocket them. Can they figure out the combination to this same? Good counter right hand again. Beautiful counter shot. You don't want to trade shots. Marciano fighting to survive. He's never been knocked out. of the round and he is looking really sharp. Boy, this next round is here we go in the championship rounds round 11 he couldn't finish him off in the last round let's see what this has in store for us that knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown i'd be very very surprised if he'll come out fresh as a daisy that's not gonna happen he's got a person he's got a he's got a bluff on. Right punch. One of the best attributes to have in boxing has nothing to do with boxing. It's how well you can take a punch to the face. This is when you get in the ring feeling like you're King Kong because you know you've got a chin that's not going to get dented. When are we going to see a jab from these two? That's a scoring left hand. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Fighter's sort of the death by a thousand paper cuts approach. He'll hit you a thousand times before you can land one. Having so much speed, what happens to your opponent is he gets caught to ribbons, and that's when the referee has to jump in and stop the fight. And you know this is gonna happen, so you rush your work. You think I've got to get him inside close round. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. 
Be smart, be sharp. Don't be a fool, don't get second in. Make him fight, your fight. Hold him, tie him up, just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's gonna pop you off. Both men step back for just a moment. How much confidence do you build when your opponents hit you with their best shot and you walk right through? Because you've got a good chin doesn't mean you've got leather skin. It means you can still get caught. So you've got to go for those caught arrows over the eyebrow, the cheekbone. You just got to try and cut them, skin them, go for speed. Nice exchange here from both men. This round's still up for Baz with just 10 seconds to go. Good counter punching for both these. The three judges agree, and we've got a unanimous decision. Unanimous. You know what? Smart, smart studies. Total change of styles to make sure they got it. At every round in the bag, there was no argument, no discussion, no mistake. It was so obvious. Now what we gonna do right here is settle the score. Look around you. We got a whole room full of monsters. We gonna shut it down like this. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, it is go time. My name is Todd Grisham. Next to me is Johnny Nelson. Todd, it's going to be an amazing night as per you. Rocky. The bro You can tell both. Great to have you with us for this all-action affair. We expect big things, and I don't think we're going to be disappointed.
covered in sweat. Imagine how exhausted these two athletes have to feel right now. Such heat. The cornermen need to be able to do their job. Think about what they're doing. Want to cool you down. Want to ice your back. Want to give you instructions in your head. And want to just arm you to tell you what you do right and what you do wrong. Because that's the most important thing. Forget about the heat. Forget about everything else. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. A very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. You can't score with that uppercut. Nice counter shot. Looks like this fighter did not work on defense his training camp. will slow down it picks up this round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go he is down big time on the school but now sometimes it can be the sweetest sound round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be afraid. Don't get sucked in. Make you fight. Your fight. Hold and tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. see a lot of finesse and skills from this guy. He wants to bury his forehead in your chest and pound away. You find the swarm you've got to protect everything. The body with the elbows, the head with the ball. You've got to try and push them off balance because they will just stay in your face. Well, then step back for just a moment. Nice counter punch. Punching for both these fighters. The winner of this surely will get a world title shot. Keep an eye on this slugger. As you know, he's willing to take three to give one. That's his game plan, and it's worked out pretty well for him so far. What do you do with a slugger? You've got to use brain over brawn. Ball in the match, don't pop, jab, boom. Get them angry. Nice job landing that left counter punch. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not fast. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. All three judges here. The bell rings and we start the third. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Look at these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Changes everything, especially in this division. He's got to find a way to get around that reach advantage. Very smart, very sharp. This is the fit young man style that he's got to get inside that long reach. Not many fights can do that. Good counter punching for both these athletes. Landed. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. 
They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. Got out of the way that right hook. Heavyweight fights don't. It looks like we're going to see an early night here. He is rocked. It appears they weathered the storm. How? I'm not sure. Nice job landing with that right hand counter. Nice exchange here from. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. He fails to score with that left hook. Correct me if I'm wrong, but when you're dealing with someone with so much speed, you've got to get your timing right. Got to ruffle their feathers, Todd. You cannot let them get comfortable. Drag them. Get them complaining to the referee. Because once somebody with excellent foot speed and excellent power gets into the rhythm, the fight is over. Nice counter. He misses with that jam. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Which one of these athletes is going to say I can't take it anymore? How do they use this fighter's aggression against them? How do you deal with an aggressive fighter? What you do is you fight, fight, and fight. You either give it and back because that's where they're comfortable, or you play hard, play hard. Are we about to win this history? The great Rocky Marciano in serious trouble. Oh, do you believe this? Rocky Marciano is down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Final 10 seconds of the round, and he is looking really sharp. Let's see how the game plan changes after that big knockdown. Things are starting to heat up now as we enter the fifth. He got knocked down in the last round. Let's see what he can do here. That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'll come out fresh as a daisy. That's not going to happen. He's got a hustle now. He's got a, he's got a bluff. He got knocked down in the last round. Let's see what he can do here. Good one. That counter shot lands. about punches and bunches that's the mantra for this fighter with that exceptional hand speed this can be so frustrating when you're in the city it's a fast fighter that can throw three four shot combinations before you even let one up that creates frustration and that's when it gets hard nice exchanges from both men in this round skill for skill tap for tap just like a match made in heaven James here from both men. That left scores. And wait a minute, a left hand lands. Nice 
Missed him with that uppercut. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet. Not to the senses of combat. Don't let this fighter's speed fool you. There's some method to the madness. These are precision shots, and they're coming at lightning speed. When you have a fighter that's got a great footwork and that great hand speed, it's so hard. It's an uphill battle. He just misses with that big right hand. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly. Just a moment. Final 10 seconds here, unless we get some late drama. I think we all know who won this round. Left counter was perfectly timed. It's not over till it's over, but that knockdown is going to be huge. I love to Seven. Here we go. Let's see how he bounces back here after getting dropped in the last round. Oh, listen to me. If I knock somebody down like that, that round, you know this round coming out? He's getting everything, everything, full bound because I know his legs are gone. So this, you watch what's going to happen. If he doesn't, I'll be very, very surprised. Counter-punching. seen in the past from this fighter, they don't get concerned when they lose some of the earlier rounds because they know they've got that power that can strike at any moment. I've seen certain fighters that can depend on just their power alone. Forget tactics. They know the second they touch you, it's done. That's where the confidence comes from. And he just missed with that left jab. to this safe. He threw the hook, didn't land. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. Show us something, Rocky. This guy certainly has a huge chin. It appears he's out of trouble, at least for now. But that just goes to show you, one clean punch changes everything. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. here in the next one.
fighter has determined that they can walk through any punches that their opponent throws, and that's a very confident spot to be in. Work the body, frustrate them, take the mind off the chin, take the mind off protecting everything around them. Work the body, use tactics, sometimes it's so hard to actually outbox a fight and beat them on points. Then step back for just a moment. So close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. They threw the hook. It did land. Nice counter shot with the right hand. here in the next one. This fighter's certainly not going to outthrow their opponent by any means, but they will, when they hit, be a lot harder. Hard, we know one of these fighters can knock you out with a simple jab. They're that powerful. Catch and shoot. These men showing exceptional chins, by the way. That punch. You've seen all the famous boxing movies, the training scenes, the gym work. That's what it all boils down to. Who's going to have more endurance? Now this is about desire, this is about character, this is about want. up on their feet, but I'm not sure why. Nice exchange here from both men. Looks like he's going to survive the round here, but just barely. him off in the last round. Let's see what this has in store for us. What a knockdown. You know in the corner now, they're saying when you go out there, jump with him. Do not give him chance to breathe. Bully him. Throw him. Push him down. Punch him in the back. Keep letting the shots go because you know they won't shake your leg. They're a, a nuts here. Away from... surprises of the year. Oh, what a shot. What a shot. You see shots like that in the gym. At least for once, this is on TV. Thousands around the world saw that shot. They probably even heard it.
only one, number one, there ain't room for two. There ain't no room, I am the one. Top two, but not number two. There ain't no room, boom. Came in, cleaned up, without a boom. There ain't no room. Still here, still not been moved, I got points to prove. There ain't no room. Straight in, more pain, so more gaining. Here I came in, guns blazing. At Raven, you get weighed in. Been training, sick of waiting. Some failing, not plain sailing. Entertaining, check the ratings. Let me out, I don't wanna be pinched in. Yeah, I'm ready, who's next up? Pay attention now, you're your best luck. I like to warm up like a few jabs. And then I hit hard like I left up. My style's unique, not test box. Step to me, you get yourself messed up. Win or lose, still here, still not been moved. I got points to prove. There ain't no room. Only one number one, there ain't room for two. There ain't no room. I am the one. Top two, but not number two. There ain't no room. Boom. Came in, cleaned up, without a room. There ain't no room. Still here, still not been moved. I got points to prove. There ain't no room. Only one number one, there ain't room for two. There ain't no room. I am the one. Top two. I'm Todd Grisham, and what a stunning venue. We are live at the Compia Box Academy. Alongside me is Johnny Nelson. It's going to be unbelievable. The fans, everybody around the world, the fighters, this is just one of those things. It's time now for our tale of the tape. He is the Bronze Bomber, one of the hardest punchers in... Trash talk between these two fighters. He said this fight would never happen, and yet here it is, and here we go. That punch. Neither man really defending himself. And shoot. Counter school. I know boxing fans around the world feel like Christmas morning with these two finally in the ring. You see the nerves that look like stepping into the ring tank. It tells you so much about fighting. And they're looking at the opposite corner. You've got one fighter that that is in heaven. This is where they want to be. Changes from both men in this round. Perfect on perfectly matched. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that much above you. And so I've got to respect both of them more than nothing. And this is with that jam. Punch counter punch. Nice job landing that left counter punch. Right punch. Nice counter. Perfect counter lands. You'd like to see this fight. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Second round, coming off that fantastic last round, but see if he can keep his momentum going. You're not going to see a lot of finesse and skills from this guy. He wants to bury his forehead in your chest and pound away. Oh man, you've got swarm in your face. You've got to try and push him off, make him go into the wall. You've got to sometimes fight fire with fire. Put me on the blind side of the referee. Get him out You're not going to see a lot of finesse and skills from this guy. He wants to bury his forehead in your chest and pound away. Nice job landing with that right hand count. Just gets out of the way of that right uppercut. Nice 
exchanges from both men in this round. And this is that jam. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. <laughs> As you know, he's willing to take three to give one. That's his game plan, and it's worked out pretty well for him so far. Slugger's just want to mow you down. They want to walk straight through as though you do not exist. You better be fit for this one. And this is that jam. Here is the first round with 10 seconds to go. Well, we're entering desperation mode here. Gonna need a knockout. Every second, every minute of this fight is important. Every second, every minute of this round is important. You cannot afford to lose it. The bell rings and we start the third. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet, not until your senses have come back. Why aren't they defending? tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. This fight is all about distance for this man, and you can see he's using that length advantage. Very smart, very sharp. This is a fit young man style that he's got to get inside that long reach. Not many fights can do that. Can they figure out the combination to this safe? Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. Good punch. Exchange punches. Lands with the right counter. Just misses with that jab. He carries that guy to jab away. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. so big because they can push because they've got the weight behind them they may not be connecting but trust me when they connect that's when this fight sets on fire because someone's gonna get hurt and someone's gonna win good counter the left hand there left counter punch the score both of these men showing exceptional chins by the way Figure out the combination to this set. This exchange here from both men. Oh, you know what? You got to. Are we witnessing one of the all-time greats go down? Oh, do you believe this? Rocky Marciano is down! One, two, three, four!
some point, the corner may have to intervene here because this fighter won't stay down. And counter left. That left counter was perfectly timed. Through the hook. Okay, final 10 seconds of the round, and he is looking really sharp. Offensive display landing that left counter. Nice counter shot. So it's plan B time after being knocked down in that round to make or break the fight. Back into the play here in round five. Let's see how he bounces back here after getting dropped in the last round. What a knockdown. You know in the corner now, they're saying, when you get out there, jump on him. Do not give him chance to breathe fully and come on, push him down, punch him in the back. Keep letting the shots go. Because you know, the one shake your legs. They were a Nazi away from getting stopped. They're certainly not going to outthrow their opponent by any means, but they will, when they hit, be a lot harder. So one view draws first blood time. That's what you've got to look at. If you go, and you know you're in there with a binder, you've got to be honest, and you've got to be confident. When you're a power puncher, you're not as concerned with how many punches you throw, it's about how many you land and how hard they are. Big shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful, though. Skill for skill, tap for tap. It's not a match made in heaven. Chin. Do you have a glass chin? These are things that can affect the fight. Don't get trigger happy. Because all of a sudden you're going to be... Joaquin Marciano covering up, trying to buy some time to get out of trouble. Look at him trying to fight his way out of this. He might just want to hold up. And he is forcing him to take a knee. Absolutely gassed out. Didn't know what to do. And hurt on top of that. without a doubt, needs to go out there and think, right, you know what? Let's start the six. So not the best round, but let's see if they can turn it around here. They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to block it. They've got to block it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot, jab. Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then, put the pressure on. The counter punching. Perfect counter shot. It's like a game of chess. They both got their swords. They're swinging it. Beautiful counter punch. Insane action. Great counter right hand there. Punching for both these athletes. Power is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? Sometimes when you get in there with something that's so powerful, you just think them. You just gotta be smarter than them. You gotta be like a little fake and a pickpocket. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap the tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. And he misses with that jab. He carries away the left uppercut. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Counter right hand again. You know that bell was swinging.
sweet music to his ears. Wow, it's like two. And there's the belt for round seven. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet, not until you're sent to the comeback. You're a power puncher. You're not as concerned with how many punches you throw. It's about how many you land and how hard they are. Oh, we know one of these fights can knock you out with a simple jab. They're that powerful. Still swinging with nothing left. up to block the left jab. And that's exchanges from both men in this round. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Just like a match made in heaven. The old adage is, no matter how much speed you've got, timing beats speed. Some fighters are just gifted. Gifted with hand speed, footwork, movement. They are gifted. They are the chosen few. He gets out of the way of that left hand. Nice counter shot. His jab just got blocked. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. And we enter the eighth round. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Good counter punching for both these fighters. Catch and shoot with the left counter. Good job. Correct me if I'm wrong, but when you're dealing with someone with so much speed, you've got to get your timing right. This can be so frustrating. You need such a fast fighter, fast fighter to throw three full shot combinations before you do that one. That creates frustration, and that's what gets hard. The old adage is, no matter how much speed you've got, timing beats speed. Counter shot with the right hand. Jab not finding its target. Back and forth they go. Rocky Marciano is supposed to be the one knocking this guy out. How did they? He's going to take a knee here and try and regroup. What you see right there is a heartbroken fighter. a big difference between being the aggressor and the effective aggressor. Which type are we seeing so far? Sometimes when you have a fight, the best way to beat a fight is not give them what they want. Because they want to get you there, they want you to stand there, talk to Cody them, and have a tail. That's what they do in the gym every single day they win. What you've got to do is very close round with 10 seconds to go. And we enter the night. See if they have a plan B after last round. They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got a bluffer. They've got a bluffer. They're going to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot. Jab. Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then put the pressure on. All right. Missed him with that uppercut. Oh, that punch. You can 
tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. I've seen in the past in this fighter, they don't get concerned when they lose some of the earlier rounds because they know they've got that power that can strike at any moment. Todd, we know one of these fights can knock you out with a simple jab. They're that powerful. And they figure out the combination to this safe. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dares to win it out of turn. Good left corner to land. Nice shot with the left. Deontay Wilder rocked right now. He's in some serious trouble. Thought we were going to see the finish there. What a huge momentum swing that's going to be considering that round will be 10 8 after the knockdown. Love the response, so got back up, took a deep breath, got right. Look. There's the bell for round 10. He got knocked down in the last round. Let's see what he can do here. Oh, is so I let someone down like that, that round. You know this round coming up? He's getting everything, everything. Full battle because I know he's like a gun. So this, you watch what's going to happen. If he doesn't have a gun. Rocky Marciano in trouble, do you believe this? The boy. Nothing else he could do there but take a knee to stop the beating. That's a really dent the ego. You don't want your opponent to see you do that. Another stoppage win for the resume. An excellent performance for sure. What's next? A TKO makes it so confusing because you think, what would have happened if the fight carried on? These guys are going to have to do it all over again. It's a TKO. To me, it doesn't tell us a full story.
Feeling like I got a brand new contract. Yeah. Armed and dangerous and ready for combat. As soon as I catch them on site, it's contact. I get the job done proper, there's no comebacks. That's not fair, people hoping on the balance. But either you got that magic or you haven't. And we were born and blessed with all this talent. As soon as we give it a task, it's so apparent I'm fully prepared, fully activated and ready. Focused on the target, grab my weapon, hold it steady, your name. You know that they ain't rage heavy. Got the beast in me screaming out, let me out the cage. I ain't got to do with rage. The days are numbered, see my steps are calculated. On time, not a second hour late. Witnessing the mastery that we display like a hitman.